What's going on guys, Sean Boyle here with Momentum360. Let me lose these glasses. In this one, we're gonna be going over how to create a virtual tour from scratch. By the way, big shout out to everybody who is enjoying their Labor Day. It's Labor Day right now. Big, big holiday weekend in the States. And just wanted to say, I'm um, very proud and blessed to wake up in this country and have the opportunity that, that I do. It's just amazing. So without further ado, let's get started. What's going on guys? If you haven't yet, stop, go to our YouTube channel, click subscribe and click that little bell too so you get notifications whenever we post a new video, you will be the first person to know. Thank you so much for the support and now the video you've been wanting to watch. All right, guys, what is going on? So in this one, I'm going to be showing you very briefly how to go about creating a virtual tour from scratch. Now, there's a boatload of different things that you guys really need. I will set you up. And if you're a complete novice, a complete beginner, this is how you get started with virtual tours. All right. So, guys, the first thing you really need to know is getting your camera equipment. OK, there's a boatload of cameras out there. What do I think is the best to be frank and honest? From the cameras that I've shot in the past, DSLR, Matterport, Rico Theta, Insta360, I mean, there's a million of them, right? The best one that I've ever worked with and that my team's worked with is the Rico Theta Z1. All right, so what you want to do is go over to Rico360.com. You'll be presented with this automatic deal right here to get a Rico Theta 5, but we're not going to be getting that. We're going to be checking out the Z1. So, guys, why does the Z1, uh, in my opinion, have the most credential to be the best virtual tour camera on the planet? Well, there's a couple different things. The thing that you have to realize with these Rico Theta cameras is they're just scanning and shooting what's there. Okay. Now with Matterport and with the capture app, whether it's on your phone or you're using a pro two, which is like $3,000, it's not going by what's in front of it. It's going by the LIDAR technology. Okay. Which is very, very important. So for instance, I'm in an office space right now. Imagine it as like a little rectangle, right? So that rectangle, if I'm shooting with Matterport, it needs to pick up all those four corners in order to make that scan in which it's going to show a dollhouse when I'm completely finished right now with 3d, um, with, uh, the theta Z one, it's something where if it's just a rectangle or whatever, it's going to just show it as it is. There's not going to be a dollhouse. It's just going to stitch together all these images. And that's what you get. So I think it's a little bit better because if you think about it, if you're shooting outside, it's going to be pretty hard for the LIDAR to pick up, right? Unless you're using a BLK camera, which is like 20 grand, it's like a couple of G's a day of rent. I, you and I don't have that kind of budget. So just one of those things. All right. So that definitely puts the Zeta uh, Z1 in my category, in my book of business as the best camera on the planet right now. And then as you can see, the megapixels, the HDR processing, the memory. I mean, it just crushes. If you're looking at a side by side comparison, the Z1 to the SC2. I mean, it's just a no brainer. There's a big time reason why it's $700 more. All right. So once you get your camera equipment, you'll have your tripod. You'll also have the Rico Theta camera itself, which is again, I'd say about the size of this glass right here, 16 ounce glass. It's something where, um, you know, it's really compact. It's really dynamic. All right. So it's shoot day. You go to your property. Let's just say you're shooting a mom and pop store, brick and mortar, or like, a, I don't know, three bed, two bath, 18 to 2000 square foot house. Just kind of basic, right? What you're going to do after you're done shooting is you're actually going to then stitch all these images together. Okay. This is step number two. So when you're editing after the shoot, you're going to get something which we all know and love called Adobe Photoshop Lightroom. Okay, so Lightroom is gonna do a couple things. One, it's gonna allow you to stitch everything together. It's gonna to make it look all spick and spent. So there's no different variations of scans. Like if you're shooting, for instance, the outside of a place and you catch the sidewalk, maybe like the sidewalk is a little higher sometimes, maybe it's a little lower. So you're gonna keep that consistency across the board. There's not gonna be any weird edits. Furthermore, you're gonna be able to actually color correct everything in here. I'm colorblind. I'm actually red, green colorblind. So the fact that my team is able to do this for me and crush it every single time is very, very important. Okay. So that's the different things you can do with Adobe. And then once you have everything together, then you actually are going to get a virtual tour software to use. 
For Matterport, for instance, you really don't need to do any of this stuff because you're just using the LiDAR camera. You upload it right to Matterport. It takes roughly 24 to 48 hours for everything to render, and then you get the virtual tour. Matterport's pretty much a beginner software. Sure, a lot of professionals like me and a lot of my other partners around the world use it, but it's not our favorite. It's not something where, you know, it's not as comprehensive. It's not as, you know, custom uh, customizable, if that's even a word. It's just, it's not as unique, honestly, as all these different softwares like the 3D Vista or the Cloud Pin, which both of them, you can actually take an aerial drone, go up, you know, 40 meters in the sky, 100 meters, however high you want to go up, take a 360, and you're going to be able to then show it off um, as an aerial viewpoint, clicking down into something that's on the ground. So that's a really, really, really underrated feature. A lot of people are doing this right now, including us, obviously. And you really need to check it out because, um, I mean, what can I say? The, the capabilities of 3D Vista and Cloud Panda are definitely unmatched. All right, don't get me wrong. Matterport's okay, but it's just kind of rudimentary, quite frankly, again, with the LiDAR. Um, so that being said, guys, this is what you're going to be doing. So you have your camera equipment. Once you have the camera equipment, you're going to be buying some editing software. Again, Lightroom is fantastic. It's what our team uses. It's what a lot of big time professionals use as well. And then you're also going to be getting that virtual tour software, whatever it is. I go through different videos where you can check out here and here that go through pricing, that go through a lot of different uh, ins and outs of these virtual tour softwares. For instance, Cloud Pano is like $30 a month. Matterport's like, I think we pay about like $1,000 a month for this. It's really, really expensive. And then 3D Vista is only $500 one time fee. So it's pretty easy that way. Sure, you're gonna to need to pay a little bit more to actually host it on their cloud platform, but it's not that expensive at all. I think it's like 20 or 30. And if it's not 20 or 30, it might be $40 a month. Big whoop. I'm paying $1,000 a month with Matterport right now. Not happy, <laughs> as you can see. But other than that, guys, uh, you have Kula, you have Pano 2 VR, you have a lot of different these softwares, but the best one, in my opinion, if you're just starting out, but you're really trying to, you know, just get to that intermediate uh, experienced level where you're, you're a seasoned vet, go with the Cloud Pano, go with 3D Vista, you cannot go wrong. You're going to learn a lot of awesome things. And then something else that you guys consider as well is go to the Facebook groups, go to the Matterport Facebook group, go to the Kula and the Rico Theta, go to you know, the Cloud Pano 3D Vista. There's Facebook groups specifically for these types of virtual tour cameras, softwares, etc. So you're going to meet thousands of people just like me that are making these videos that just want to help people and really just build up the plethora of 360 photographers all over the world, because this is something that obviously is not going to go away. It's going to continue to boom. And I mean, what can I say? The more 3D photographers in the world we have, the better, right? So that being said, guys, if you enjoyed this video, absolutely crush it, making me work on a, on a holiday. No, I'm just kidding. But like the video, comment your favorite part, and ask me a question too. If you guys aren't sure about something, it's something that I really love to enjoy is just writing back these comments. If you have a question about something, if there's something you didn't understand that I said, because I tend to mumble sometimes, you know, there's a lot of different things in my head and I can't get them out as best as I like to uh, on the uh, video. Let me know, we can make it work and I can answer your question below. But one thing is for certain, thank each and every one of you so much for watching these videos. We have over a thousand subscribers right now and my goal next year is to hit 10K by the end of 2022. So that's my main goal. It's gonna be a really, really challenging goal, but I think with enough content, we're gonna be able to get there. So guys, again, thank you so much. Have a great rest of your label day weekend and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.